guys, this is Kathy here on my YouTube channel. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here today. Well, today we're gonna to do something a little tiny bit different. We're gonna do an author proof unboxing. This is my second book. I have not seen it. I opened it just to make sure they're in there, but I have not looked at them. And this is a proof for my second book. First, I'm gonna tell you about my first book so you can understand the history of what's going on. Back in 2013, my husband, who was a pastor and I thought was a dedicated married man dedicated to his family and to me, I found that he was not and he left me. And after 37 years, it was quite a confusing and devastating time. It really was. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I was ready to end my life. Um, my life as I knew it was gone. The goals that I had were gone. The dreams that I had were gone. Everything that I had put into my bucket list Every goal and desire I ever had was in my marriage, and now all of that's gone. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to take care of myself? My husband was the primary breadwinner, so I was out working part-time in order to get fun money for the family, grocery money for the family. He was getting things like insurance, retirement, money to live on, to pay the rent with, and suddenly I found myself with none of that security. And I remember, in all the devastation and all the crying and all the sorrow and all the weight loss I lost like from a size 10 to a size 4 in a matter of weeks went into deep depression which I've never experienced before that was not fun had no idea where to turn no idea who could help me no idea where to go so I started asking questions I started listening to people but one day I was sitting in the office where I was working and I love to take pictures of flowers and I would take pictures of flowers. I'd play with them a little bit with different filters on different apps and make them look like oil paintings. Or, and they, they turned out pretty nice. And the doctor I worked for, he said, let's just show them in the office. So he would put them up on the wall in the office and show them with the music playing behind them. So one day in my sorrow and despair, literally, I'm sitting there, sitting at the desk, and I can see out in the waiting area all the patients. And up on the wall are my pictures. And you're going to think I'm crazy, and I may be, but I was sitting there, sad, looking at my pictures over top of the patient's heads, and I got this, I don't know, if it was myself, if it was God, if it was a combination. And I asked the question, flat out, God, what am I going to do? And in that moment, the still small voice in my head, whether it be God's or mine, I don't know, but I got if it's God's, I can't walk away. I said, uh, it said, you're going to write a book. And I actually saw it. On this side, on the left-hand side, you're going to have a picture. And that picture is going to be of your flowers. And it's going to show that there is God's beauty all around us, even in the pain. And on the other side, you're going to tell about your day and what happened. And you're going to talk about God's promise that he will never leave you or forsake you. Vivid as can be. So that's what this first book talks about. It's the beginning. My story, my divorce, God's promise, the beginning. And in the beginning, the only hope I had was God. That was it. I had zero other hope. And as you can see, let me show you a page here. Flowers are dominant. So you've got, over here, you've got, oh yeah, God's beauty is still there. Even though we're in extreme pain and we don't know what we're going to do and we don't even want to be here anymore, there's still beauty to be found. And on the other page, I'll read this whole page, it's so short. My family was here today. They will soon leave and I will be alone. I didn't ask for this. This was not my choice. Where can I turn but to God? Then I put a scripture in. The Lord is your protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. Psalm 121.5. And I always said at the very end of each chapter, which was very small, Father, in this extremely difficult time, help me remember your promise. I will never leave you or forsake you. And here's another flower. I woke up trembling, covered in sweat, and I would do that every night. I asked myself, what's happening? Then I remembered the source of my anguish. I don't know how to pray. I didn't ask for this, God. This was not my choice. Where can I turn but to you? In the same way, the Spirit also comes to help us, weak as we are. For we do not know how we ought to pray. The Spirit himself pleads with God for us in groans that words cannot express. I don't know how many nights in the beginning that all that would come out of me talking to God were groans. And thankfully, they were interpreted for me. 
Father, in this extremely difficult time, help me remember your promise. I will never leave you or forsake you. So the whole book goes on like that with the promise that God's beauty is still there and also God's promises through his word and his promise I will ne never leave you or forsake you and also a little bit about what happened that day. So that's the first book. It's a series I'm working on. That's the beginning. This one is The Journey, which talks about, it's more logistics, what we need to do. Hire an attorney, don't sign anything, forgive, and things like that. The third book, which I'm going to start working on very soon, is going to be The Joy. That there's joy to be found even after a devastation, even during a devastation, if we look hard enough and we rely on God. All right, let's see what we got. So this is my story, my divorce, God's promise, the journey. Oh man, God, it's so much bigger than my other one. And it's got, it has, here it's got not for resale because it's a proof. But see, it it's a similarity there. Um, this one's a little brighter. This one's a little more subdued, but it's still really very similar. And this one has a woman on it. And she appears to be going on a journey. My story, my divorce, God's promise, the journey by Kathy V. And that's me. And uh, you see she has a suitcase. She's looking up to the sky where there's birds. And she's on a journey. As a woman of faith going through a divorce, are you feeling lost and alone with nowhere to run for guidance, support, and encouragement? Are you seeking sound, real-world answers to help you face the challenges arising from your divorce with confidence and grace while preserving your faith, health, and sanity? Are you yearning to find ways grounded in faith to deal with the pain, the loss, and the multitude of decisions as you navigate this new, unfamiliar path? Divorce can be extremely painful, and if it is unwanted or a surprise, it feels like a death but with intent. That was one of my quotes in this book, that divorce is like a death but with intent. It is a death of not only the relationship but of the family and of a way of life as it existed before, and that's so true. Not only are we grieving, we are also facing a major life change that requires many decisions to move on. Written by a Christian woman who was blindsided by an unwanted divorce when she was in her 50s, Kathy V. has been in your shoes and felt the devastating pain and shock that follows while holding tightly to her faith and searching for God's beauty that she knew remained even when she could not see it. She found healing, peace, and joy on the other side. Yeah, I did. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice large print, too. I kind of like that. Um, but as you go through it, it's divided... The first scripture, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you, he will never leave you or forsake you, that is my motto. And here we've got the table of contents, section one is just breathe, has things like ways to just breathe, it's okay to cry, get out of bed, hold on to hope. The second section is logistics, like don't sign anything, hire an attorney, build your credit, and all these different things. And the third is moving on, make a plan. Life is an adventure. Don't forget that. Even in bad times, it's an adventure. Take care of yourself. Develop new routines and traditions. Volunteer. Work on forgiveness. Then I have a little letter I wrote to God called the off button, telling him how thankful I was that I did not have one because I would have pushed it. A parting thoughts. A special gift from me. I'm going to have 30 days of prayers, which I have to prepare. I've started um, for you as you're going through your divorce journey or for you as you're helping someone else with their divorce journey. So I'm excited to read through this. It looks good. We put graphics in here of the lady. See, she's making it like you will and I will. She's making it. So I'm excited. I can't wait till this comes out. Please stay with me as I prepare to launch this book release in November. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. And please say a prayer for me as I try to get this book going. Always remember, God will never leave you or forsake you. Take care. God bless.